Miranda, good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? <laughs> I am so well. Season 9 of Chicago <laughs> Fire. What? Isn't it crazy? That I, It just seems like it started two years ago. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what, nine years? And you started, what, in 2016? Yeah, yeah, season four. It's insane. Coming up this January, I'll have been in Chicago for five years. It blows my mind. Well, I'm from Chicago, and I miss Chicago so much. And it's really awesome to see a lot of Chicago actors involved with Chicago shows, as well as you know the theater that they're yeah. known for. Uh, when you walked into Chicago Fire, obviously the show had already been established. The characters were already there. People have established relationships, and you're the new person. How did that feel for you? How did they make you feel welcome? Oh, my gosh. I didn't really have any expectations going in. I I had just gotten off the show Blood and Oil, where it was kind of a similar situation. Um, The cast had all already met, and then I came in as a recast maybe a month later. And that was, you know, they, they were wonderful, but it was definitely, you know, there was an adjustment period. So I didn't really have any expectations coming to Chicago, kind of was like, I'm going to keep my head down and, and do my work, and it was just seamless. I mean, everybody was so warm, was so um, inclusive. Uh, Everybody wanted me to be a part of the joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, there wasn't, wasn't, um, I really didn't experience the exclusion that I was kind of bracing myself for. Well, I mean, definitely, I think David Eigenberg, Eamon Walker, Yuri Sardarov uh, and Kara Kilmer were like the big welcoming committee. Just like, come here, gave me a bear hug, took me out to lunch, took me out to breakfast, took me out to brunch. Like, it was amazing. We're here with Miranda Ray Mayo, Stella Kid on Chicago Fire. So you're from Fresno. When you came out to Chicago, what were you expecting of Chicago and what surprised you? I really didn't. It was all such a whirlwind. Stephanie, like, I I got a call uh, that I had booked the show and that I would be flying out the next day and that I should pack for four months. Oh, my God. So it just was kind of, yeah, it was just, it was totally this whirlwind. I had never met anybody. I had just sent the tape in doing the scenes. And then I sent the tape in, I want to say, middle of December, and then everybody broke for Christmas. And then it was the beginning of January that I got the call from my manager and agent at the time. And they were like, well, you booked it. Um, and they want you to fly out tomorrow. So I didn't really have a whole lot of expectations. I was very present to just seeing kind of what the city threw at me and was very receptive to that. I mean, I had always wanted to go and visit Chicago. I had heard they had a great jazz scene, a great theater scene, but, um, you know, improv, Second City. uh, But other than that, oh, and, you know, the weather. Um, (laughs) But other than that, I really didn't have, I really didn't have, many expectations. We're here with uh, Miranda Ray Mayo, a couple remaining minutes. How has the pandemic affected filming on this show, and has it affected filming on anything you've got, any irons in the fire going forward? Um, 1,000%. I think, you know, societies and film crews are made up of individuals, and the pandemic has affected us as individuals, you know, um, on on most levels, um, physically, emotionally, mentally. So uh, filming, there's just a lot more protocols. So, you know, we are tested every day, even when we're not working. There are different zones where people can go. It all is just way more monitored, and uh, it can be challenging artistically, but the importance of it health-wise and and thinking about our crew and making sure that everybody is healthy and taken care of, Um, you know, there are challenges that we are all willing to meet and have been meeting. Um, 
So, yeah, there, there's I, I, I do not envy our production team, and they've been amazing at continuing to push forward with all of these new protocols. I mean, there is already our show is already such a um, a difficult show to make with the fire, with the special effects, with the with the rigs, with the fact that we have so many series regulars, like so right. many storylines. There are so many different elements, but add you know these these pandemic protocols on top of it. Our our production team, I think, deserves all of the praise and all of the awards. Um, and as far as me and my things and my irons uh, are, you know, in the fire moving forward, yeah, I mean, I was in the midst of, I created this live show um, last year called The Lose Romania and was working with a friend of mine on a consciousness mindfulness program for teens, a camp, and all of that involves in-person interaction. So... I've definitely had to go back to the drawing board with those things, but it's it's definitely all worth it. And um, I think the pause is, it's a challenge, but I welcome it. You know what? I like that positive attitude. Thank you so much. First of all, I'm just very humbled that you even took the time to be on my show. Miranda Ray Mayo, the show is Chicago <laughs> Fire. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it. Wednesdays at 9 o'clock. Check it out, Miranda. Thank you so much for taking the time. And uh, best of luck and best of health. Thank you. You too, Stephanie. Have a great day.